the secret to scoring high in WIAC biology practical is not just about knowing the answers, the correct answers. It is about what? It is about presenting your answers exactly the way WIAC marking scheme demands. If you follow these tips carefully, your A1 is within reach. So relax, grab your notes, and let's go deeper into each of these things in this video. Don't skip, don't scroll watch to the end best of all this content is usually sold in premium classes but today i'm giving it to you free let's get started your a1 depends on it but before we go any further please take a moment to subscribe to this channel like the video and share it if you find it useful don't just grab the knowledge and the uh, disappear help grow this platform and uh, help others benefit just like you seriously how much does it cost you to hit the subscribe and or the like button nothing at all yet it means so much to me thank you so much for doing that much love stay majestic first understanding the wayek biology marking scheme let's understand that wayek biology is divided into three papers paper one which is the objective that is 50 marks Paper 2, which is the theory, 70 marks. And paper 3, which is the practical we are talking about, which is 80 marks. Did you hear me? 80 good marks. Only the practicals. Unlike chemistry and physics, where the practicals is just 50 marks, biology practical has the highest mark, 80 good marks. So, to score at least a B3, you must get around 75% in the practical. If you want an A1, then aim at least 90% of those 80 marks. Biology teachers are advised to participate in the WIAC coordination or watch this video carefully till the end to stay updated. Now, why students lose biology practical marks? Look at the reasons. First of all, WIAC rarely removes two or three marks at once. They mostly deduct half marks or maximum of one mark. That sounds harmless, right? But here is the shocker. Students often make about 40 small mistakes that will attract deduction of half mark for each and around four big ones that may attract deduction of one mark or even the loss of the entirely 10 to 12 marks in just one practical paper. Imagine that. 40 small errors equal to 20 marks lost. One major error, like drawing the wrong specimen, you will lose up to 12 or 10 marks entirely. You may know the correct answers, but if your presentation doesn't follow WIAC rules, you will lose marks exactly. So two students may write the same thing, but one scores full marks and the other scores zero. It sounds impossible, but that's what it is. Then the next is, how are these 80 marks shared within this paper three? How are they distributed? The practical is split into two main sections. One, section A and section B. Initially, when we are still writing the work with uh, Ghana, uh, uh, Gambia, it is divided into three sections, sections A, B, and C, where section A is made up of two compulsory questions, and then section B, you choose, section B is for the Ghana, and then section C is made up of another question that you will answer to complete the 80 marks. But currently, Nigerians are writing their own separately. Ghana, Ghanaians are also writing their own separately. So with this, it shows that now we are no more having this uh, there is no more three sections rather is divided now into two sections section a section a is made up of two compulsory questions 25 marks each which sums up 50 marks for section a then section b have additional questions which will give you the 30 marks in nigeria both sections are compulsory so you are writing for the full 80 marks then biological diagrams how do we go about this? How to score 22 easy marks? One, you will draw two diagrams in the whole practical. One from section A, which will be 12 marks. One from section B, which will be 10 marks. That's, that's 22 marks just from drawings. So let's break it down. Each drawing is marked under two subheadings, quality and labels. Then quality will give you about eight marks. Then labels will give you about two to four marks. Warning, warning. If you draw the wrong diagram, like drawing the specimen that you are not told to draw, or draw the wrong view, example, transverse instead of longitudinal section, and you will get zero for that drawing. Imagine. What causes this? 
is mostly the kind of video students and tutors you watch and the drawings their biology teacher does your biology teacher has already taught you some students even when the question clearly asks for a completely different diagram imagine you still go ahead and draw the one they you have memorized so it doesn't make sense just because that's what you are used to so read the question paper very well to see the instruction and know what you are asked to draw okay now let us consider the major thing rules for quality drawing in biology number one your drawing must have a title your title must be written on top of your diagram and don't just write diagram of no you're going to say you, you don't just write the specimen you are told you must write it diagram of specimen a or you say diagram showing are you listening diagram showing don't just write specimen a no diagram of diagram showing or drawing of now do what you now derive the rest of the title from the question how the question said it is the exact way you will copy it and your title should be on top of your drawing okay so now having said that clear if you miss to use this word diagram of diagram showing you will lose the mark for title and that is one mark so use capital letters or underline if in small letters okay so i've told you that title is one mark then the next quality is size of your drawing so draw within the size instructed wrong size is equal to minus one mark no mercy about that when they tell you 10 to 12 that means if you draw 9.5 you're wrong if you draw 12.1 you're wrong let your drawing be within the range of 10 cm 11 cm and 12 cm now endeavor to watch my videos on detailed rules for biological drawing how to maintain this particular word size in biological drawing biological drawing nobody tells you the length and the width they give you the major length of the specimen so you use your discretion now and complete the drawing please don't joke with the size of the diagram i advise you measure and make a box if possible so that you don't exceed now the number three things for quality drawing in marking the drawing we have clarity of lines clarity of lines this involves use you have to use clear continuous line no woolly shaky or broken lines no shading of any kind messy lines will attract deduction of one mark then the fourth one is labels and guidelines use a ruler lines must be horizontal and touch the structure it is labeling crossed lines marks lost label with pen or pencil it is allowed get this clear label with pen or pencil but you must draw with pencil sharp pointed hb pencil get this clear your lines of label must be horizontal it must be ruled with a ruler and it must touch the part it is labeling your lines of labels must not cross each line that crosses will attract the loss of half mark labels are marked in half half mark which means four correct labels is equal to two marks are you getting that now so be careful what if somebody draws the line straight line correctly and eventually misses what misses the horizontal labeling you will lose half mark but when the label we will see that under uh, details and other subheadings in that marking okay so let us see the next quality is magnification so in writing magnification magnification should be written under the specimen you are drawing magnification remember is the size of the image you draw all over the object what size to so check how many times you have reduced or amplified or magnified the specimen so in most cases if you watch that rule in biological drawing you don't need to go and do the mathematics because some specimen may looking at them you can't draw their exact size on the paper like if you are drawing being wavel there is no way you draw the exact same size if you draw the exact same size you use times one but the size of being wavel is too tiny that even a dot is enough to represent the size of a being wavel in your paper that means for being wavel you have, you'll be using times 10 at least and they're both so in draw in writing this magnification what must you do you must write magnification times you must put that times before the value if you forget that times or write only mg you will lose one mark even though you wrote magnification but you did not write it in the correct order then the next is the details so this varies depending on the what the specimen you are drawing so this one varies depending on the specimen you're drawing when we say details not the details expected while drawing a bony fish is the details expected while you are drawing what a feather so each diagram is not also the same detail you are expected to give when you are drawing a longitudinal section of uh, of a pineapple so it depends 
on the specimen. But there are common things you must know. So this commonly includes how proportional your drawing is and how closely it resembles the actual structure. For example, you can't be drawing an egg like a perfect football. No, now. Or draw a feather like you are drawing a broad leaf. It doesn't make sense. Again, if you are drawing a specimen that has seeds or scales, you must draw at least three seeds or scales. Drawing only one will cost you one mark. Note, this rule does not apply to specimens that naturally have one seed, like mango. Now, if drawing involves a cut section, cut section such as cross section or longitudinal section, the outer line must be doubled. The outer line must be doubled. This means that all cut drawings must have double outer line. The same rule applies to what? Structures like an antenna. It must also be drawn with double lines. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in the loss of one mark. You feel savvy, the answer finished. But why go still show you say na packaging matter? No be who sabi pass. They collect full mark. Now who sabi arrange the answer like correct candidate? Now so one boy draw quick feather. We resemble parachute. Or the other guy draw mango. We resemble sign of love. Imagine. Haba. Why you no pity them all? Now G10 they collect that year. You don't say after F9 and G10. Marking scheme, no sabi your family problem, your personal problem. I beg no forehand like that. Okay. Now why are they always talk say if na if na science equipment or reagents you define no dull at all now some majesty easy world science sure pass now sure plug buy from scientists where sabi road now me and i they guide you proper proper no go buy anyhow come they call me make i explain why <laughs> your experiment no they give better result to now better reagents and better equipment they give better result to i you say you won't turn your chicken to elephant <laughs> now you sabi okay I even they run 15% discount plus quick and smooth delivery. My guy, I know go for your hand. I know go for your hand. I need your patronage, Biko. Now, let's continue. Aside from diagrams, there are other aspects of the biology practical that require careful presentation to end full marks. These other rules are number one, differences must be in a tabular form. Two, points or explanation must match to score. Wrong comparison means no score. Structures must match with each function to score. Wrong matching equal to what? Zero mark. For example, you now say that in adaptive features, in adaptive features, please, this is where this applies. What are the adaptive features of a particular specimen? Maybe we are talking about beam weevil or we are talking about cockroach. You now say presence of antenna for walking. Unfortunately, this is no score because antenna is not used for walking. Then the third thing you should avoid is, that's number three thing to avoid apart from drawing. Avoid the use of help, facilitate relating to structure, aid, and function. Like in structure and function, example, what is the function of an antenna? Don't say it helps the animal in sensation of touch. Rather, say it is used to detect touch. Say it is used, not it helps or facilitates when it comes to stating the uses of structures. Another funny but clearer example is that state the function of the hand. This hand I'm now using. You now say it helps to hold. No. Rather say it is used for holding objects. Please. Then the first thing is that for habitats of some specimen, please be more specific than generalized. Don't be too broad. Example, what is the habitat of H1? Don't just say terrestrial. Rather, you say under litter, under the soil, in the garden, etc. But if it is specimen that doesn't have one particular smaller habitat that can occupy anywhere in the terrestrial, you can just say terrestrial habitat. But in most cases, please don't be too broad with reference to what habitat. You will lose marks for these things. Now, the fifth one is that all scientific name must be written in the following order. Generic name, that's the genus name, must be in capital letter and the species name must be in initial small letter then that is the generic name must be in initial capital letter you get me now then the genus name and the species name must be what underlined genus name starts with capital letter i did not say write the whole genus name with capital letter then species name start with a initial small letter okay then you have to underline both the genus name and the species name you have to underline them what separately 
Now, be careful with those letters that don't have pronounced differences between the capital and the small letter, like P, M, and S. So capitalize these letters. Ensure that they are above the line and must be higher than every other letters following them. In addition, all taxonomical names except species name must start with initial capital letter. That is, from kingdom to genus, must start with capital letter. Now, number six, avoid giving theoretical differences learnt in classroom instead of observable, physically observable differences in the specimen provided. My dear, avoid wrong spelling of technical words or misspelling, like exchanging axa, you can see there, with what? Axa, yoke, and yoke. Both spellings are correct, but with different meanings. This video is just a quick summary of what the Wired Biology Practical Marking Scheme requires from you. A full review using students' answer scripts and the clear illustrations to explain each common mistake would nearly take an hour and 30 minutes. So it's a long visit. So in view of this, there will be a detailed online seminar on the Wayek Biology Practical Marking Scheme. Remember, every other thing you need to know is already in this video, but to get more details, because we, in the comment section, we cannot upload images. You understand me? So it should be a seminar and a kind of live stream. So to join the seminar, chat or call, plus 234-7065-166217. And this brings us to the end of this powerful section on biology practical. Now you know what it truly takes to score high and avoid common traps that cost students mark. Remember, it is not just about knowing the answers. It is about presenting, uh, presenting the answers the way Wayek wants it. So if you follow everything I've shared, your A1 is not just possible. It is within reach. Best of luck. Once again, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with friends, those that need it. So let's succeed together. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep learning. Keep winning. So Majesty Easy World is always here for you. Much love. Stay majestic.